Hey, mate. What we're doing is we're looking at the curve theory test. I said it's something I need to do. Um, it's about time I did it, isn't it? Woo! While you're traveling within the speed legal limit, the motorist behind you flashes his uh, headlights. What should you do? You don't change anything. It tells you if you're right or wrong again. I don't want to know until the end. I don't want to know. You see a pedestrian with a red and white stick. That tells you this pedestrian is f***ing lazy. <laughs> no, um, red and white. It's not blind and deaf, is it? Is it just death? Whereas the black one. No, it's blind and deaf. Well, excessive or uneven tyre work and because faults in the suspension. See, we're doing it. We're flying through this now. We've got 66% right so far. You're involved in an accident with another vehicle. Someone sustains a neck injury and your vehicle is damaged. What should you find out from the other driver? Are they alive? <laughs> uh, yeah, you just... You must not reverse your vehicle further than necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What should the left-hand lane of the motorway used for? Just normal driving, just straight, <laughs> just straight through, no brute, in it. Um, breakdowns only. What normal driving? What the? Oh, the left hand. No, that's a trick. I thought it meant the 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 thingy road, the piss road. Do you know the piss road? The piss road. Not the. No, that's box. Uh. I know these. This I'm, I'm just f***ing. He's only halfway across the road. What should you do? Just just keep going, innit? You must hold the full ECEA driving license for... Ooh, I want to Google this. <laughs> You're not supposed to. No, I'm sure it used to be five. Like people used to say, oh yeah, but I feel five free. Yeah, don't know. Just, just felt right. If you have a slow down quickly on a motorway because of a hazard, you should wave your arm out the window. Ah! <laughs> Switch on your hazards, beep your horn, and flash your headlights. Up the has hazard. You want to park facing downhill. You should turn the steering wheel towards the curb and put on the handbrake. Just always handbrake in it. You're driving alone on a country road. A horse and a rider ahead of you. You should mow them down at the easiest opportunity. Drive past slowly and uh, give them plenty of room. There. If you see a miniature warning light, two lights vertic aligned vertic. What? Two lights at what? Two what? Two lights aligned vertically. So like two two lights aligned vertically. Oh, like the orange ones. I feel like it's a level crossing. It is. Wee! If you have a collision, which of the following will reduce the risk of neck injury? Not crashing, holding your neck upright, uh, collapse. Collapsible steering wheel, a property, a properly adjusted head restraint, a properly adjust, adjusted head restraint. In which of the following situations should you never overtake cyclists? Always mow them down at the easiest opportunity. Because why are you in the road? There's a cycle lane. Get in the cycle lane. All of the above. A police officer flashes his headlights and points to the left. What should you do? You floor it, mate. Obviously, you floor it. While driving on a busy main road, you realise that you're travelling against the oncoming flow of traffic. Ah! <laughs> yeah, pull into a side road and turn around. Turn your car around. When travelling on icy roads, how should you drive? Crazily! Ah! With the car in the lowest gear possible. With the car in the highest gear possible. Oh, I always got these ones wrong. I think it's lowest. But that doesn't make sense because you get more resistance when you're in... No, you don't. You get more traction. No, it's the highest. If you're driving in strong winds and wish to overtake a motorcyclists, you shouldn't. You should just leave them dry, like riding. Why are you trying to overtake? Like, if your vehicle breaks down inside of a tunnel, what you should do? Scream. Scream, of course. Get out your car and stand behind it to show the drivers that it's not moving. Get out your car and flag someone. Wait until your car breaks down is reported to the police. Switch on your hazards. Someone has injured his arm or in, in an incident. Ow, my arm. The person can't move it. Ow, but it's bleeding. Ah, <laughs> Use the bleeding. Drive over a footpath if you don't give a f <laughs> uh, To help a motorcyclist injured in a traffic accident, do not remove the person's helmet unless um, it's essential. 
For which vehicles should you allow extra room when you overtake motorcycles? The reason being is that when it's windy, that can actually influence the, uh, the movement of the motorcycle and blow it into your direction. When approaching an unmarked crossroad, who has the right of way? The one who's most aggressive? I mean, we all know it. Travelling the fastest speed, yay! The driver travelling in the largest vehicle, yeah. Uh, unmarked crossroad, no one, no one has the, the right of way, you just sort of figure it out. If you forget to switch off your rear fog lights, even after the fog is cleared, it could... What? Represent a breach of the law? That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. He left his fog lights on for too long. I'll not let him get away with this. <laughs> you've had an accident and someone is unconscious, your highest priority will be to not curse. No, do we, you? You know what I mean? To be honest, honestly, it should be carry on moving because if you touch someone these days, it's like, nah, they're going to sue you or something. So, yeah, check the person and that, but you're not supposed to. The first MOT certificate will be acquired after... Ooh, a new car. I think it's three years. It is. A roof rack fitted to your car will cause... Survey said... Uh, your handheld phone rings while you're driving your vehicle. When it, When is it appropriate to access a call? It just doesn't matter. Right, two more questions. We're nearly there. Let's see how we've done. You're driving down the motorway and planning to turn off at the next junction. Unfortunately, you missed your exit. That happened to me on my test. But it wasn't... I missed my uh, exit. The guy wouldn't let me in. Like, I slowed down and sped up. And then he still wouldn't let me in. He was, like, you know, matching my speed. So I cut him off because, yeah. Right. You're in a mini roundabout. You need to give way to oncoming traffic to your right. Uh, okay, so we'll see. Did we pass? Did we not? Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I've still got 10 more. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's it. You're supposed to only overtake. You know what I don't understand about the motorway? They're like, right, stay in the left-hand lane and then overtaking the other two. But that doesn't make any sense because with the left-hand lane, people are coming on and coming off. So it should be coming on, coming off. You stay in the left. Stay in the middle if you just, you know, you're not coming on and coming off. And then the right hand is just for blitzing it, isn't it? That makes more sense. When you're just going straight, why would you want to be in the one where people are coming in and coming out? Competitive. While driving behind a vehicle on a road that is slippery and wet, how large of a gap should you leave between the vehicle and yours? Well, I always thought it was four anyway, so... Yeah. You're towing a trailer on the motorway, what is the maximum speed you can travel? Um, it's 60. You can't go 70. Yeah. You approach a roundabout and see a pedestrian getting ready to cross. Who must give way? The pedestrian, because your vehicle is much bigger than him. Travelling within the legal speed limit? Another motorist attempts to overtake your car. Should you stop the motorist from doing this? You motherfucker! <laughs> Pass first time! Guaranteed! Oh wait, no, that's not mine. No. Wait, what? What was my results? Hello? Hey! That's good, I know some of it still. So, hopefully when I take my test in two weeks, we'll be alright.